Estamos en San Agustín, en Florida. Es una ciudad, la ciudad más Ahora, esto podría ser todavía más viejo. Lo que pasa es que hubo un incendio y tuvieron que rehacer los piratas ingleses que incendiaron toda la ciudad. Pedro Menéndez ¿no? Changing the doorway entrance around to face the street Florida, front, and the British were the first Juan to use glass. Leon, now, if you missed that corny cannonball, everybody wants to see it. Por... Wait, please put that thing inside the trolley. Porque Thank había... you. Me pareció... Just next to that rock formation, there's a circle with a real cannonball between the second and third windows on the ground floor as we pass by the courtyard. Most of you have seen it already. But my question for you is this. If it was fired from the river from an enemy ship, which used to happen all the time, wouldn't it have to pass through this oldest house first to lodge itself on the Tova house? So what do you think? Esta zona es súper bonita. Estamos ya como al norte de la Florida. Esto es norte. No tiene nada que ver con el sur de la Florida. Entonces, el sur de la Florida está los Everglades. Es espantoso. Sí, lo del mar lo decía. 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 Sí, Spanish structures. They were only here for 21 years, so they really didn't want to come into it. Our new seawall is about two years old. It's the tower of the two here. The old seawall has been a great job for centuries, keeping us safe from tidal flooding. Parts of that old seawall date back to the 1740s. And when it was completed in the 1840s, it was the last construction project in the state of Florida that used slave labor. Back in the Victorian era, if you're staying at one of Mr. Fryber's hotels, I'll show you after we see the churches, you and your spouse would be seen walking arm in arm on top of that old seawall here in the evening, which is why locals still refer to it today as lovers. Lovers Lane, very good, much better than last week. I had a sharp elbow on the ribs of his wife. No happy hour for that night. So as I mentioned earlier, the Bridge of Lions was completed in 1877. Here on the left hand side is our one and only skyscraper, the Bank Exchange Building. Also completed in 1927 and despite its attractive appearance, the City Council decided no more skyscrapers. They passed the City Ordinance in St. Augustine. And on the right to the right
placed there by the Daughters of the American Revolution. And here on the right-hand side, the oldest parish in the United States, the Cathedral Basilica. Catholics have been celebrating Mass in Sagos Collins every day since George Washington was our president. The southern end of St. George Street here on the right-hand side works right up to those city gates we saw earlier. And here on the left-hand side, the government house. That wooden balcony facing the plaza is where the king and queen of Spain came Estoy out last San Agustín, year in Es la ciudad más antigua de los Estados Unidos. Está al norte, pero en la orilla del, del Atlántico. Al norte, está muy cerca de Jackson. Estamos muy cerca de la zona que le llaman el Panhandle. Es el nombre que se le da a la parte más alta de la Florida, que parece como el mango de un sartén. Por eso le llaman Panhandle. Pero no estoy, no estoy hasta arriba, estoy muy arriba, pero sigo estando en la parte de la península. De Miami estamos como cuatro horas en Port these metal chains you see connecting the cement columns are up for decoration only these days, but they were discovered somewhere in the Spanish Empire in the Caribbean. And back then they were used for real, raised one foot below the waterline at night, protecting against any invasion by enemy wooden vessels. Que hizo mucho por esta ciudad. Now, Mr. Mr. Henry Morrison Flagler is the one who. De hecho, Flagler es el nombre de una calle muy importante en Miami. Miami. The ones flow through here. And while he was dealing uh, with the uh, public here and building his hotel, he received news from New York City that his daughter, Jenny Louise Benedict, had given birth to a grandmother in the next two years. Because only there was a mall and a few hours after she was born, and she was born with a gravely ill. The two did plan to reunite in Charleston, South Carolina, but tragically, just as they were about to see each other again, in Charleston Harbor, Jenny Louise died of paralysis, and in his grave. Mr. Flagler was determined that on the one year anniversary of his daughter's death, he would have a memorial service for her in a brand new church here in America's oldest city. Now here's that church coming into view on the right hand side, look at the beautiful copper dome with the cross. We're going to pull up the curb here and let you get off here on the right hand side, the Memorial Presbyterian Church. So here we are, folks. Now make sure that when you get off the trolley, you wait for the bell first. I'll ring it for you in just a few moments. Use that handrail and back down just like you're getting off a step ladder. Please do not jump off the trolley. And with this instance, this is the Memorial Presbyterian Church. They ask you to enter very quietly, okay? Just like church mice. Here you go. Right hand side. Be very careful. Take your time, please. And we'll see you back here when you're complete. Ahorita le saluda Patricio. Hagamos para adentro. Esta señora es nuestra guía. Y aquí están todos los niños. Y esta es nuestra maestra, Miss Grace. Voy a grabar un poquito adentro para que lo veamos todo. Boys and girls, you need to enter quietly. ¿Cómo que puedo ponerme la cara? ¿Qué quiere decir eso, hermano? Atención. nos cayó a todos. Aquí está el troll.
está bonita y aparte aquí está calientito. Mire, me tengo que poner los lentes, no veo. ¿Qué me están diciendo ustedes? Un beso para Chile. No, no estoy rompiendo reglas, todo el mundo está grabando. Gracias. Mentirosas, como que me veo.